far away in a land of dungeons and also dragons, the wild wild woods are liberated from an evil dwarven giant mechanical beetle logging machine. Now our five brave-ish companions quest onward, little knowing of the dangerous dangers that lie just ahead. As we seafaring men say, ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Corazon de Bayena. Uh, and if anyone saw a pirate ship outside, that's mine. Please don't steal it. Thank you. Whichever one, I mean. I, I think I saw a ticket on it earlier. Oh. So you might want to. All right, go back I, and I am going to have to go and move it. Top up. <laughs> yeah, all right. One of the ships is a decoy. <laughs> I am Dob the Half Orc Bard. Hello. Hello, I'm Merylwyn, the Wood Elf Druid. I'm Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin. I'm Prudence, the Tiefling Warlock. And I'm literally everyone else in the world. Fuck you, Johnny! You're getting upset again that people aren't cheering enough for Corathon. No, it's fine. Cheer for who you want. Yeah, cool. <laughs> awesome. We'll jump right in. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Um, we kick off, um, let's call it a few days after the events of the last adventure. What did you end up calling that, by the way? Uh, what, Something um, woods, wild, 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 wild woods, wild yes. wiki, wiki, wild, wiki, 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 so, uh, this adventure begins in the village of Tanner's Folly. Oh, man. Which mm, was Tanner. Yeah. Well, it was um, initially a community of Tanners. Um, then they realised it was a terrible idea to get a community of Tanners together because <laughs> it reeks. Uh, and that's why it's called Tanner's Folly. Anyway, being adventurers, you, uh, you're going, all going for a nice little drink together in a pub called the Bellowing Walrus. Oh, I love the, um, I love the Bellowing nice. Walrus. A little known nice thing place. about uh, Tanner's Folly, it's tradition for all the, uh, the people running pubs there to... Um, to write their names on the wall in massive letters. Uh, this pub is obviously run by a Mr. Rezd. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. And, uh, Which oh, explains Edwin that. Edwin Gray and yeah. Xavier <laughs> Rezd. Yes. Love that guy. So, what you're saying is the immersion isn't broken. Good. Immersion intact, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can have inspiration for that. Thank you. Uh, hey. So anyway, you, uh, you, you go into the Bellowing Morris together, you, you settle down as you, you take in the room. It's surprisingly busy in the tavern for this time of year, one might think. Weird layout too. Yeah, very strange <laughs> layout. Yeah. Quite adversarial, I find. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> never mind. Uh, you get drinks of uh, your choice and you look around. It's Cheers. relatively, um, uh, you know, it's, it's pubby. It's, it's, um, it's people having ales in pints and quarts. And over in the corner is a man in a... Very, like, pristine linen suit with uh, a sort of hat with sort of a domed top and a wide brim. Um, he's drinking quite heavily from a bottle of brandy and he has a raggedy sign in front of him that simply says, Adventurers Wanted. It's the Merchant of Del Monte. <laughs> <laughs> um, I reckon ignore him. So, yeah. <laughs> Play it safe, I think. Does anyone want to go and talk to that Adventurers Wanted man? I imagine... Not much will happen if we don't, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, let's go, let's go have a chat with him. And the hook is in! All right! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you wander up and he sort of... As you approach, he, he seems so caught up in his own misery that he doesn't even really look up. He just goes, oh, so did you, did you want this table? No, we're wondering why you look so down and... How oh, we weren't really. Down? I mean, you were. <laughs> no, we, we, we I want to know about the adventure. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. as you've probably heard, I'm... Uh, Corazon de Bayena, famous adventurer. No? It's a, it's 
Spicy Does a flicker of recognition pass? Spicy Rat face. Caper. Did you that not was... see the posters he had printed? That was one of mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, have, you have heard of me. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, sure. Yes, I've... I've... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you... <laughs> did you want to get an oil painting together? Or, or, no? A bit busy. Um, <laughs> OK, sure. Looking... Well, anyway, as you right. know, I'm a, I'm a famous adventurer. This here's my crew, my adventure crew. Right. Oh, oh, the Ooh. sign! <laughs> yes. You're yes. adventurers. Yeah, yeah, adventurers, yeah. Well, yeah. I, it's funny you should mention, I'm looking for some adventurers. <laughs> well, I mean, you should, <laughs> you should put that on a sign or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, what, pull up a seat, please. Um, okay. Oh, it's like a job interview now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you're suited? Um, I, sh I should introduce myself, really. My, my name's um, Alfred. Um, Alfred, Alfred Strangetide. Um, I fancy myself a bit of an adventurer myself, but... Um, uh, Escort mission. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Classic But, but really, I'm, I'm more of an archaeologist, slash, I'll carry things for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, well, listen, I've been, I'm not going to lie, I've been in Tanner's Folly for quite some time now, and I'm, I'm getting a bit fed up. I want, there's, an, there's a crypt near here, and there's an artefact in it that I think could be worth, well, it, it's priceless, really, and nobody will go there with me because they say it's the home of great evil and that they've got hides that they need to dunk in urine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is the, the problem with Tanner's Folly. Why did we come to Tanner's Folly? I don't recall. Uh, to the, hide the conversation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not the food. That's no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's a, it's a slow burner. Wait for it. <laughs> we will wait for it. Uh, Prudence, you love hanging out in crypts with great evil. Great evil is yeah. what I heard. So you could get some tips, maybe. Yeah, really maybe get away from evil. the uh, urine smell. I mean, the, getting away from the urine smell would really be a good... Yeah. yeah I would good. take rotting corpses over urine right now. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like that sounds nice. We'll pack a picnic. We'll make a day of it. We'll go down the crypt. <laughs> yeah. Make some great evil. It'll be great. Sandwiches. Let's yeah. do it. Sounds great. Anyway, my we'll come day. with you. We're adventurers. Fantastic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk. What, let's what pay, is payment. the thing that we have to do? Yeah, that as well. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, we, we, we could just be like, I don't, I don't want to be like a sacrifice or something. Yeah, no, oh I'm yeah, sorry, Before, if met. you're a cultist for an evil deity, you, you have, have to, you have to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no cults here. Not, not in Tanner's Folly, no. No cults, no cults. cults. Woo, it's fine. Um, it's, it's very simple. I mean, some say the place is incredibly dangerous, but um, I can tell you it's, it's absolutely worth it. The thing we're after, it's, it's sort of a vessel. It's sort of um, a legendary, um, it's, it's a chalice, I suppose. Um, and, well, they say, I mean, this is all uh, just, you know, rumour, of course, but I've done a bit of studying, and they say um, it can provide, uh, well, it, if you're after something like absolution, it, it can bring you that. Or, what? Or, I am so about absolution. Some, some say it has the power to help you convene with, with a god, even... E even an awful one that nobody wants to be friends with. And <laughs> some even say it might cure diseases that you've had for ages when it doesn't really make sense. And, and if you're missing someone like a family member, maybe, maybe that'll help. And that took you a worrying or, amount of time. Have you or or it can help you commune with animals near and far <laughs> and of all different sorts. And, um, what about this guy? It's probably worth loads of money. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Magic words. <laughs> This seems like guys, really good luck. Guys, yeah. this, guys, this sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> we'll I'm go. not suspicious. You know, no, me not at all. I'm taking this 100% on a level. Great. Yeah, well, yeah. If, we, if we get the artifact and we sell it and we all make it back alive, um, I'll share the money with you. 50-50. Um, I get half and you between you get half. Sounds good. Well, uh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. 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 To, 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 I negotiated. It's fine. No. <laughs> guys, I've got this. Saying deal no, immediately no, should, is no, negotiating. So, what do you. All right, Don't my lawyer, dog. Meryl, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, there's, yeah. there's, there's five of us and there's, there's one of you, I think those terms could also, be. He's threatening you. What are you bringing to the whole deal yeah. other than that With lovely linen suit? There can't be that many crypts around here. We could probably find it ourselves. And nope. he's told us about it now. I yeah, don't even need it. Let's go get it ourselves. I might have overplayed my hand a bit, <laughs> but not loads. I mean, you still don't know where it is or what, what you're looking for. What if there are loads of cups where or is it? chalices? You don't even know what, what shape uh, it is. I'm not going to tell you. Well, okay. look for the one that isn't really ornate. I've watched this. I heard tell of this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Oh, it's a good folk song. Mm. I've heard it. Yeah. yeah. I did wonder if you'd 
You've hmm. heard that story. The bawdy penny dreadful that they're often... <laughs> yeah. uh, 70, 30. How's that? 70... Th- oh, right. 70 to us. Oh. 30 to you. You're still getting on a better deal? Yeah, it's good. 30 is good. Also, we won't, like, uh, Eldritch Screw Blast you over at the end and kill you. <laughs> you also, may- I'll let you uh, stand on my pirate ship for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really nice pirate ship. Yeah. It'll look cool. And oh. I'll do the Titanic thing with you if you want. Yeah. <laughs> he will. Roll, that's a charisma persuasion <laughs> check, please. <laughs> Go on then. A D20. Okay. Let's call it a f- An easy <clears throat> six. No, it's nine. It's oh, it's nine. 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 Easy add, nine. Add your modifier. Uh, do, 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 your charisma do, do, modifier do, do, do. is acid. six. Yeah. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Near. <laughs> Started already, brilliant. <laughs> well, you you drive a, a hard bargain. You just feel so safe in these orc arms. You know what? They do look very safe. <laughs> well, they're not. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Seventy thirty then. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go. Good. But you best keep me safe. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, no problem. Yeah. No problem. Just stay out of the range of, say, like a cube. A cube. Of <laughs> you just steer clear of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay Don't close to me, dog. buddy. I'll look after you. Are you at the centre <laughs> of the cube, or does the centre come up from the floor? Or? See, now, this was my question. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. Let's go to the crypt. All right. I've um, got sandwiches. Amazing. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of time. If there's anything you want to pick up in town beforehand, just, just say and we, you can have it. Um, Unless it's like, I, I need a, a massive drill so we don't have to go through the crypt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some no. torches. Yeah, torches. torches. It's good. Got some torches. You have a lovely afternoon of shopping, um, and then just as the sun starts to sort of dip... Why are we going at night? Surely that's we wouldn't have needed the torches <laughs> if we were just <laughs> away. Dark in a crypt. Okay. Uh, well, you can yeah, wait until tomorrow if you want, he no, says. No, it's fine. Let's, right. go. Let's, it's go. Fine. Let's go for it. Great, cool. Um, so, as it's a beautiful sunset, as you come across... To be honest, you might not have found it without him, just saying. Uh, it's a fairly <laughs> nondescript entrance. There's sort of a low wall that's half overgrown, uh, and there's just a big old door with, like... It's kind of cracked, and there's a little hole at the top, but it's a heavy stone piece just there, like, blocking the entrance to this crypt. Right. So you're at least confident that no one's been in here in quite some time. Unless okay. it's Jesus. Uh, <laughs> he could just move those things with his mind, like, powers, I guess. I heard tell of in the Is it Bible. Ye- <laughs> <laughs> But you have religion as yes. like one of your skills. That's yes. why he yeah. knows so much. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Uh, okay. So here we are. Um, Ian, what was it? Jeff? Arthur? Stephen. Al- Arthur. You- Richie. Alfred? Or Alfred. You can call Alfred. 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 You can call me Strange Tide. Uh, we're here. Buddy, uh, this door, though, is in the way. Do you know anything about this door? Like, how we get in? It looks very heavy. Egbert, do you good? want to give me a hand with the door? Yeah, sure, well. Yeah, I'm strong. All right. Let's go. On three. Okay. One, Remember, two. with the knees. Yeah. yeah. Lift yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Knees, Health not the back. Safety. Arch yeah. your back and really, yeah, really put your Wrenching. back in. Jerking yeah. motion. Lift with your spine. Twisting, okay. crunching motion. <laughs> <laughs> if this is how I go out, I'll be very yeah. unhappy. <laughs> you lose eight hit points. You take 38 points of damage <laughs> to okay. the spine. Uh, make me a strength check. We'll call this a 10. Just okay. both, oh. both of you give it a bash. Why oh. ever not? Uh, that's a six. <laughs> 16. Perfect. Make up the difference. Um, so Egbert, <laughs> Egbert starts and kind of just goes, yeah. and then just about keeps his feet as Dob just sort of sticks a hand in and goes, <laughs> like you know when you got a, a tub of Pringles and you just do Doom. I? Yeah. <laughs> as the, um, the 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 lid, as it were, the, the doorway pops off. The lid. <laughs> the lid of the crypt. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're thinking about Pringles still, aren't you? <laughs> Well, too nervous to have lunch. Well, too hot. <laughs> it's the treasure Pringles. Is that what we're going after? Because that's And fine. that was the adventure, everybody. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm fully fine with it being Pringles. So this rush of stale air kind of comes out and stale you hear a, a strange sort of... <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's like a low mist sort of comes out. You feel right at home, Prudence. You're like, oh, yeah. It's bloody like, ominous. That's yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> Loving this. Mm. You're like, yes, this is my Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like coming home. Yes. Good, uh, and you step into a room, um, it's about half the size of this one, which will be handy to anyone watching this online, okay. um, and it's got, 
a number of statues. Um, to the left, there is a warrior with uh, a massive sword in both arms, and he's kind of screaming in this, this frozen position, sort of stone statues. On this side, there's an archer, and there are probably about eight or ten of them, just boom, 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 along the way. And then at the end of the, at the room, there's this piece set into the wall, and it's kind of a stone skeleton um, with a big crack in its skull, and it's kind of missing teeth. And it, it looks like whoever it was died in agony. And there is an axe sticking that? out <laughs> of the front of the skeleton's head. And below it, some text Ooh. that you can't read. Oh. Why, why is it not in this too far away? <laughs> no. I mean, that might help. OK, but, well, it, let's walk forward. <laughs> Alfred, <laughs> Alfred go read that wait, sign. Should we wait. smash all the statues first? What? No, no, something that people... Look, we should check the floor for traps. Oh. Can I do, like, an investigation? Can I investigate yes. the room and see if there's traps and stuff? Yes, you can. It's probably an investigation intelligence check rather than perception wisdom. Let's call this another ten. Okay. That's uh, eight. Do I add anything so to with the your, bonus? Yep. So that's a ten. You hit it bang on. Ten. Great. Um, you are pretty certain that there are no traps in this room. Guys, hey. I'm pretty certain there's no traps in this room. <laughs> it's it's something about the room tells me that. I don't know what it is. Why don't we just casually walk along it? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone recognise the language at all? Well, let's, well, let's close, walk put our up to it and look at it. Right. We have really bad let's press our faces yeah. up against it. <laughs> okay, we go and so press we'll Dob's face <laughs> up against the inscription. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not licking it clean, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not licking it clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> An exploratory taste. No. Um, um, yeah, we, go, we, Braille. We, we cautiously get in close and have a peek at, at the writing. Excellent. Uh, as you start to kind of like rub away the, the thing, um, you've got sort of law in this kind of thing. Then. Is it in Infernal? Because I speak that. You know what? It very much is. Ooh. Cool. So... Finally, all right. You have no trouble deciphering the letters. Guys, guys, guys. Um, using my infernal skills, I've read the thing and it says, Avenge me. Avenge okay. me? Okay. What? The, the skeleton. The, skeleton? the bad skeleton with the axe in its head. Right. Wants to be Once avenging. Avenged. Oh my How God. did he write that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not just writing, it's <laughs> carving. It would have taken a week. It is. So it is carved, but the skeleton is also a carving. I will just remind you right. of that. This isn't an actual skeleton. Are there any of the statues missing an axe? Oh. Because then we could smash that statue. <laughs> or he if really I'm, wants it, to smash a statue. Yeah, I just really... Yeah. All right, Mace is getting hungry. You go and have a look around the room, and... Sure enough. <gasps> yeah! There is one statue whose hands are kind of like this, and there is no axe. Oh, okay. In you, its go on, hands. You can, I just, can, I, can I smash it? As a, treat, as a special treat. Yes. Oh, thanks, guys. Go okay. On, Stand back. All right, All right, I take my mace and I smash that thing's head clean across the room, and it shatters on the wall if I if. succeed. <laughs> smash it with your mace. Yeah, let's do it. Just roll we'll... it. Let's see what happens. Is it the 20 again? Yep, D20. 18. Oh, nice. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it bounces clean off. What? What? Come on. Oh, it's a really tough statue. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. All right. All right, I, can I have a got? closer look at this statue? Yeah. I want to look at it and investigate it. Can you investigate get all up if it in even it made a mark? Hang, hang on. I'm starting hang to feel on. a bit... Hang on, guys. If it's, if it's written... In Prudence's language, maybe we need something from Prudence I to mean, destroy it. Let him, you, let him play with his new telescope. That's the only thing he bought with I his earnings from right, the last we'll get, I think Corazon... <laughs> Corazon, look for a weak point. It's, it's, it's all, really far away? No, it's all too close. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around. There we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just, he's already got it. Um, <laughs> Make me... Well, I can't make head or tail of this. Make me another investigation roll, please. Okay. That is a two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could use your advantage. You could use your inspiration for advantage. What if I die later? He's You're, saving oh, it. Do you want to so use it? So, basically, effectively, roll another d20, and right. you're probably going to want to take the result on that, because it's not going to be a crit. Whoop. Oh, that's Thank 18. you, by the way. Perfect. Hey. Um, so... You see Corathon kind of like scuttle to the other end of the room. Scuttle? Didn't have you down as a scuttle. Stride purposefully. Yeah. 
like a little crab. <laughs> He strides purposefully to the other side of the room and regally, regally, regally takes out his telescope and setting his chiselled jaw. I can't keep this up. He looks at the statue. Corathon, you see that it's missing an axe. Yep, guys, it's missing an axe. Wait, we knew that. It looks very firm. Uh, as, as it looks firm. You already knew that. Uh, but you notice, sort of down toward the midsection here, there is sort of a bit missing. It's sort of like a, a gap in the statue. Like ah. a, there. Has anyone considered Crucially. maybe what if we take the axe out of the cleaven headed skeleton and pop it back in the hole? That's the opposite of avenging him. Yeah, that's, that's allowing, allowing the skeleton him. to kill so again. He can kill again. <laughs> I think we should hear yeah. this statue out. <laughs> okay, no, you, you, are, you make a good point. You take the axe There's a gap. and then you use what, what? it. I say, you take the axe put, and put, put the axe in the, in the gap. gap. And, then, yeah. and then you take him out with the very weapon that he used to All kill right, the other okay. one. All right, okay. That seems avenging enough. All right. Egbert, well, you've got a second chance at this. Go and take that axe. All right, I'm going to go grab the axe. I'm gonna, can I yank it clean out of this? Comes away clean. Perfect. Uh, and I'm going to insert it into the sort of wound type thing in its side. Forcefully. Just as it sort of slides in, the very last sort of centimetre, you feel a pull. And it... That's where it was supposed to be. And then the entire top half of the statue kind of just starts to tip. Oh. Cheese it. And and falls with a metallic clang onto the floor. And inside, there is a sort of like a lever. I'm going to pull that lever. I'm going to stand back. Okay, yeah. you can do that. I'm going to stand behind Prudence. I'm all in on this adventuring life. Nice knowing you, Egbert. Uh, everyone behind me. You got this, Egbert. Okay. I pull the lever. The door with the skeleton on it rumbles and... Come, I'm glad you guys were there in the back next to the door. It sinks into the floor. You could your thumb in there or something. And you encounter a corridor further ahead. Well done. You passed the first round. Thank you. Yay. All right. Okay, let's proceed further into the corridor. It's quite a narrow corridor. What order are you going in? Um, Dob hey, first. But... Dob the walking <laughs> tank. I mean, I'll, put... I'll go first. All right. Cautiously mind. So Dob first. Then second. 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 All right. I'll go in third. Mel, oh. when you don't want to be at the back, you don't know. Okay, yeah. I'll be. I'll be behind. Where are we horizontal. putting our, um, you know, Archibald, whatever his face was? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We carry him aloft. Yeah. Down the you, who, <laughs> under whose arm is he tucked like a newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> under Dobbs. Under Dobbs' arm, yeah. like a newspaper. At the front. <laughs> this doesn't seem entirely safe, he says. <laughs> yes, but it is. <laughs> and I'll watch the back just in case any of those statues heard the rude things I was Dob saying. Dobbs has about. fashioned a papoose for him. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing along in at the like front. Like a mother kangaroo. Yeah. Really. He is, to be fair, he is having a great time here already. <laughs> just, this is incredibly exciting. Arthur's going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's all tuckered out. Oh, let's adopt him. All night through, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, means Egbert is last. I'm going back. He's in back. six. Yeah, absolutely. To the corridor. It's very dark in the corridor. I have a torches, look around. Or? I've got dark vision. Oh yeah, everyone except Corathon's got dark vision. <laughs> okay. Corathon, it seems pretty dark in here to you. <laughs> rest Wait. of you, it seems pretty black and white, but meh. Maybe fine. if you took the eye patch I've off. I've had this eye patch on, so I've got... No, it's still dark. <laughs> uh, luckily, I have a torch, which I've now lit. Great. How it's... about that? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Got your night vision, haven't you? You've got a torch. Didn't well, not now. You've lit a torch. Yeah, you've lit a torch. <laughs> Dob, what are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I walk forward very slowly while casting my eyes around to try and glean any clues from the corridor as to what's along the walls or the floor or possibly at the end. Mm-hmm. Like this. <laughs> how's, how's that go? It's not bad. Uh, you know what? I was having me... trouble imagining it, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, let's make this a perception check. Ooh, okay. Um, All looks fine back here, by the way. Good. What did you roll? That's a 13 plus 1, 14. There's a tripwire ahead of you. <laughs> Hold up! No one do that madness thing where you'll bump into me. <laughs> <laughs> I stop in front of the tripwire. And Whoa. you shall stop. And so. say, guys, there's a tripwire. Holy wow. <laughs> uh, I, I'd like you not to take yeah, the good. name of wow I get, in vain. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> okay, now I know what the tripwires look like. Yep. Uh, I, I, having identified it, I scan around to see if there are any more. <laughs> Loads. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, there's a whole lot of tripwires. I think one of us is gonna have to backflip over it. <laughs> then? <laughs> How high to the ceiling are they, I wonder? Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to sort of tuck yourself up a bit. You reckon you can get 30 or 40 backflips in this corridor? <laughs> Why not? I don't fancy 30 or 40 consecutive rolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We just sent Alfred down the corridor. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, right, look. He's in his papoose, just going, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I think I know someone who's pretty agile when they need to be. Me? You could say they have a cat-like step. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are the, are the tripwires, how high are they? How Would high I, are they? Like, for example, a cat to be able to move under them. I mean, it's, you're meant to trip on it, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's, about, Low. it's about ankle height. About ankle height, yeah, so yeah. a cat low to the ground. Right. Just go or could just go or over it. Oh, yeah, over it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't volunteered to transform into a cat, Ellen. We've got to go cat down. Meryl the went. Sorry. Meryl. Ellen <laughs> ran. Ellen Who ran. is this Ellen? Meryl. It's like a shortening. Melon There's like went. a few E's and L's in there. Yeah. Like, Melon. <laughs> <laughs> what was Melon. the name of that uh, epic <sighs> poem starring Catherine Zeta-Jones and Sean Connery? Oh, Entrapment. Was... Yes, yeah. I heard that in poem. Yeah. Yes. You've, we've all seen Entrapment. Heard the, 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 heard the, poem. the tavern song, Entrapment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, the story of a man who once thought that the dress made the woman. <laughs> <laughs> when this is the woman makes the dress. <laughs> Hope you all saw Entrapment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm quite perceptive as well, so I can go ahead and have a look and see if there's anything to maybe disarm, like some, you know, some magical lever of a tale that I've heard called Tomb Raider. Mm. Where yes. there's Many one thing that of can Tomb that have been. stop mm. all sorts of things. So, <laughs> I am going to cast uh, the, 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 I'm going to Wild Shape. I'm going to be, I'm going right. to be a cat. In a puff of smoke. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Where once there was a druid susceptible to tripping, now there is a cat susceptible to sleeping. <laughs> um. I'm going to nimbly meow my way forward. I'm going to meow your way forward. All right, I will ask you to make me uh, dex and then... Um, okay. Yeah. I've got two plus four, six. <laughs> six, right. Plus I mean, four, I didn't tell you what difficulty class I was giving this role, but it wasn't going to be a five. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just realised something. What? Whatever it is, is probably going to oh, yeah. miss Merylwyn and hit all of us. I'm going <laughs> to... No. <laughs> so low team. So low team. <laughs> I wish we'd thought this plan through a little more. I, I'm going to use my initiative uh -huh. and roll again. My initiative for turning into a cat the first time. All right. I'm going okay. to allow this. <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's... At, is that Plus added four to... is eight. Oh, no. Is that uh, how inspiration No, 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 no. Inspiration. <laughs> you take two d20s, you roll them, and you take the better result. So oh, you're taking oh, four. I need, I need... Oh, roll better. But you've rolled them both now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's happened, no. Meryl, when... <laughs> Meow. Let's just hope it hits you in the papoose. Meryl club. when... <laughs> yeah. Right in the papoose. <laughs> you see Meryl when start to go under the first couple of tripwires, and uh, she really starts to enjoy this. Uh, so you see her tail kind of come up and then start <laughs> swishing. Oh. And then it just... Snick! Catches one. Oh, um, <laughs> and as you hear this... You hear another one. And then another one, as every tripwire going down the corridor oh starts to go thwip, 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 thwip. Um, maybe run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say we run. 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 In run. fact, I'm going to ask everybody to make me a saving throw. Oh. Oh. With, eh, let's call it dexterity. All right. That is a 16. Nice. Dob's got a 20. I've got a 20. Four. Plus. <laughs> oh. Plus one. Four. <laughs> Plus four, eight. 
Oh, I get plus one as well. So we've got two Dex. crits on the same roll. Yeah. Crit, 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 crit. Does that give us? Does that help us at all? <laughs> help, does that, what? Are, you are super fine. Um, I just okay. Guys, as after the show, please. Me up. <laughs> as Dob, yeah. as Dob me sprints up. down the corridor, the papoose bouncing along. He sees that Prudence and I'm frozen and Meryl then <laughs> are taking this a little too leisurely. <laughs> And uh, I do my best to bundle them up under each arm as I... My, men, my, 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 my momentum is up now. <laughs> my, 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 my That's momentum. the word. Momentum. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> OK. So, basically, what's happening here? Um, I'll, I'll start with what, what Dob's up to. Dob sort of charges heroically uh, down the corridor. Papoose bouncing, that's important. Corathon's Carith- <laughs> just kind of... You know when you see, like, wall runners just, like, with, like, one foot on one wall and they just kind of hop between them? Oh, sick. <laughs> he's, just doing, he's just doing that, like, I don't know, playing a, a hurdy-gurdy or something. It's like... It's like a Sea of Thieves meets uh, Mirror's Edge, if you've ever heard... <laughs> Any of those folk tales. But, um, so he's just bouncing along the corridor. Um, Dob, the good news is, uh, in scooping them up, uh, you manage to leap over the pit uh, that opens up in the floor uh, that would have taken uh, both of you two. But uh, there are arrows just kind of... <laughs> Egbert, you're going there just snatching them out the air. Yeah. You're just like... <laughs> just like... Just like shopping for arrows, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, Prudence, you are going to take two points of piercing damage. Oh, oh, oh. Why do you love eagle so much? It sucks. Yeah. Son of a... And just one for you, Marilyn. <gasps> but I'm afraid you have. Yeah, it's. I'm really. I. You made me hurt a cat. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it. But it happens. Um, <laughs> And in fact, the shock of the, 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 the sting as an arrow kind of like grazed up your back. Um, as Dob puts you down, just in time really, you turn back into Meryl. Oh, for now. Sauce, guys. But <laughs> My bad. The good news is, uh, you're all at the end of the corridor. Egbert's buried under a pile of arrows. <laughs> um, everyone's kind of just looking around me like... <sighs> except probably Corathon, who's like, did anyone... <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I don't know if you heard the. I was playing the hurdy. <laughs> it's quite hard to do that and play the. Anyone? Na, just, na, 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 na. It's fine. You guys are hurt. It's fine. We'll talk later. <laughs> we'll talk later. Uh, I would like to uh, cast a spell on Prudence. Mm-hmm. Um, cure wounds. Bring it. Right. <laughs> All right, I've not tried this before, so I think it's just like oh. hand, hand in the middle of the face. <laughs> Are you exercising me? Because yeah. someone tried that once, it did not end well. Yeah. So you heal uh, 1d8 damage plus your modifier, which for you I believe is 6. Yes. So, so <laughs> bit of overkill, but uh, yeah. roll a d8. That's uh, the one that looks like that's it. Cool. Yep. Five? Yeah, you comfortably heal those two points of damage. Overcharge. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thanks, man. I've got like an overshield. <laughs> if you move on, I've got the overshield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it feels weird. You're like, what is this wholesome energy? <laughs> um, and the, the, the link that, that kind of binds you to Cthulhu has been sort of like humming along like a, like a weird tentacly cat so far that you're in this strange, ominous place. But it's kind of like, Bleh. You feel like a little staring inside you. Cthulhu's not like not displeased, but not thrilled. I'm yeah. sorry, Cthulhu. It's okay. You're... <laughs> I have a feeling you'll probably well. make it up to. Is Cthulhu, to Cthulhu mad at me now? No, no, okay, no. Okay, good. No. You and Cthulhu are cool. Yeah, you yeah, do yeah. feel like what feels like a tentacle like coiling around your chest as you're sort of healing up through them. Oh. <laughs> but it's fine. Like but that's just Alfred clinging on. <laughs> His shot is yeah. paws. Little, little hand. <laughs> he's, he's getting, hands. yeah, he's, he's get, getting a bit, you know, like colic. Freaked out. Yeah, <laughs> <he's> <laughs> like, yeah. 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 So what have wh- you done to my lovely NPC? <laughs> <laughs> he was meant to be like the, the, I know everything about everything, I'm going to study this in inter- Oh, this is fascinating. Now he's just a babby. <laughs> he's he's like being a, a very baby brave baby boy. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's going on in the room now? Is the floor still open? Or? Uh, so the floor behind you, there's like a pit right. uh, that you've avoided. And uh, this is just a corridor leading off into a room that is, is all darkness. Oh, um, got a really good feeling about this room that's all darkness. Did, Alfred, did you know about all this deadly, deadly trap stuff? Before we came in, 
<laughs> Shake the rattle. We got oh, a wriggler. Sorry, sorry. Um, just it was really sort of, yeah, regressed there. But um, yeah, well, um, I mean, I heard it was dangerous, but this is this is all stuff that that's belonged to a civilization that hasn't existed for millennia. And I, to be honest, I I never even heard tell of them being in these parts. Um, and not to put too fine a point in it, yeah, they were involved in some pretty weird stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, we noticed, yeah. Very fond of arrows, uh, tripwires. Yeah. Very, oh, they were nerds. Uh, they were very fond of their um, glyphs and things, uh, not just the infernal ones that we saw at the door. How did you read that, by the way? I'm a tiefling. I speak in... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he suddenly notices the horns and, I guess, the tail. Um, Alfred's right. little legs go like this in panic. <laughs> 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 A startled baby. <laughs> startled baby <laughs> academic. Um, oh, 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 that's much better, thank you. Um, suffice to say, um, yeah, this, this is quite serious. Um, these people are very smart, they're quite devious, and um, I would say we could turn back, but frankly, that doesn't seem like an option. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Also, it's 80 20 now, just. <laughs> But we shook on 70-30. That was before the arrows and the pit and the piercing damage. No, but I wanted 70-30. <laughs> well, you can't have it, young man. Ah! <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That's it, I'm turning the quest around. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, 80-20. All but, right. But we're not, I'm not going any less than that. That's fine. We're going to move into the next room and look at it. Any tips for the next room, archaeologist? Yeah. It looks dark in there. <laughs> Thanks for your input. Here's a torch. Uh, he's he's <laughs> trying to chew it. <laughs> All right. No torch. Oh. No. One. Damn it. All right, those of us with night vision, magical hey. night vision, look into the dark yeah. room ahead. I can have a little... What's in there? Oh, yeah. Peer into it. Ominous darkness is nothing on you, is no. it? It looks so. It looks so creepy. You oh, have no idea. I'm fully spooked. It's a rectangular room um, with an exit over there, um, and there are some flagstones uh, sort of going across the first part of the floor, and then it changes into little sort of like hexagonal pieces that uh, sort of fit together. Are the letters on the hexagonal pieces by any chance? Why, yes. <laughs> um, and all, like, so on the back wall, at least, there are uh, sconces for torches, and then along the wall, there are more there. Um, oh should you need, just, just need, maybe, yeah. to light your way. Um, I mean, that would, be, that would be good if one of you could light those torches with this torch. I can't really see what's going on. Could I make a suggestion? Yes. Rather than walking into the room, yes. if we want some illumination, we're stood at the entrance right, and it's a long corridor. Mm -hmm. What if Merylwen shoots an arrow through the first sconce, or through Corazon's lit torch and lights all the Ooh, others? Oh, like a flaming Fancy. arrow. That would be very yeah. cool if you could do that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. I'll try and redeem myself from the tripwire thing. Oh, this one. redeem you. Okie dokie. Just... Um, it shouldn't be difficult for you to rig up a flaming arrow. This is going to be a... Uh, uh, it's dexterity for archery. Let me um, like that for you. Uh, you have proficiency <laughs> in your short bow, right? Oh, yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. I mm -hmm. touch the arrow to my lips and it's on fire now. <laughs> nice! <laughs> You're looking to beat a 15 here, probably. Um, so no, it's, it's quite a long shot and there are quite a few sort of on, torches now. along the way. Yeah.